in my earlier video we discussed about utp cable copper cable today we'll discuss about fiber cables i will try to be as simple as possible to explain you what are the types of fiber cables mainly there are two types of fiber cables one is single mode fiber cable and multi mode fiber cable single mode fiber cable normally comes in yellow color and in multi mode fiber cable comes in aqua color multi mode fiber comes in different colors we'll discuss in in later part of the video but in general single mode fiber cable comes in yellow color multi mode fiber cable comes in aqua color there are different types of connectors used in single mode fiber and fiber and multi mode fiber cable the examples are lc sc st connectors fc connectors mto and mtrj connectors in normal use we use lc connectors lucent connectors sc connectors describer connectors mpo fiber cable connector multi fiber push on normally these mpo cables are used in multi mode fiber cables these are the widely used fiber cable connectors in the data center and in the normal use let us discuss what's the major difference in single mode and multi mode fiber cables as you all know fiber cables has the core that is of comprises of optical optics the multi mode fiber cable the core is of 62.5 to 50 micron and in single mode it's 8.3 micron core core is a core is the optical which is in technical terms it can be referred as core single mode versus multi mode cables single mode fiber cable transmission has the characteristics of a wide band and long transmission distance but because it requires a laser resource the cost is higher while multi mode fiber is characterized by low transmission speed and short distance but its cost is relatively low single mode fiber cable fiber cables provides a single path for light to travel and are defined by their small core size that is approximately 8.3 micron multi mode fibers on the other hand has the various paths or modes in which light can travel through a optical cable optical fiber where core size are larger ranging from 50 micron to 62.5 micron as i have explained to you earlier the path modes we will discuss in the later part of the video single mode fiber supports a single propose propagation mode which minimizes single distortion and allows for longer transmission distances multifold multi mode fiber cable supports multiple propagation mode resulting in more single distortion but allows for fast data transfer over short distances in common terms single mode fiber cables used for long distance transmission and multi mode fiber cables are used in short distance transmission single mode fiber optic fiber is the best choice for transmitting data over long distance such as 100 kilometers for low for low signal attenuation caused by the single light mode in single mode the data loss is very less that's the reason we can use single mode for transmitting the data for longer distance for more than 100 kilometers there are different types of fiber cables multi mode fiber cables which are om1 om2 om3 om4 om5 nowadays om1 om2 are phased out from the data centers and for the normal use because of their speed now we are using om3 om4 cables om5 cables are now slowly picking up the pace which is relatively expensive that's the reason we are using om3 and om4 cables as you can see the diameter of the core is 50 to 125 micron and om4 is 50 to 125 micron normally the jacket color the cable color will be aqua we'll discuss about optical fiber the mode of transmission vscel and it can be used for lds also single mode cables comes in two types one is os1 and os2 fiber OS1 fiber cables is designed for premises where the maximum distance is 2000 meters that is 2 kilometers 
with a transmission speed of 1 to 10 GB. OS2 fiber cables is designed for larger transmission distance, the range of 5000 meters to 10000 meters, that is 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers, with similar transmission speed of 1 to 10 GB. As I discussed earlier, the modes of transmission or communication protocols. Normally, there are three types of modes of transmission. One is full duplex, half duplex, and simplex. As in the picture, simplex means the data is transferred from from source to destination in one direction. In half duplex mode, the data can transfer from source to destination and destination to source, vice versa. But in at a time. Data will be transferred from source to destination or destination to source. In a in full duplex mode, the data from source to destination and destination to source can be transferred simultaneously. But in half duplex mode, data from source to destination or destination to source can be transferred at a time, but it will not be simultaneous. Our fiber cable full duplex. It can operate either in half duplex mode or full duplex mode depending on the trans receivers or SFPs. We will discuss about SFPs in later part of the video. In half duplex mode, it can transmit data from point A to point B, that is source to destination or destination to store, source, but not both direction at the same time. SFPs. SFPs are the connectors which we use in switches, routers, PEs servers sfps are known as small factor small form factor plugins it's a compact hot sortable, hot sortable network interface module format used for both tele telecommunication and data communication appliances communication appliances you can refer it as switches servers routers PEs, and all network appliances how to differentiate single mode and multi mode SFPs? By looking at SFPs, we cannot differentiate uh, which is single mode and multi mode. But we can identify it with the color. Typically, single mode SFPs modules are labeled as SM or single mode, while multi mode modules may be labeled as MM or multi mode. Additionally, single mode modules often have yellow color connectors or while multi-mode modules may have orange or aqua colored connectors. Understanding SFP trans receivers. Single mode SFPs also known as SFP single mode fiber is engineered for long distance communication. It utilizes a thinner optical fiber typically with a core diameter of 9 micron. This small core reduces light distortion, enables data transmission over significant distance with minimum data loss. Multi-mode fiber optimized short for medium range connectivity. Multi-mode SFPs on the other hand is designed for short range transmissions while data centers within the data centers, campuses and metropolitan areas. It employs a large core diameter typically 50 micron to 62 micron, 62 to 1.5 micron as I have explained you in the earlier part of the video, allowing multiple light modes to propagate. The characteristics of multi-mode SFP. Suited for short to medium distance transmission, typically up to 550 meters, utilizes LED light emitting diode for transmitting the data from source to destination or VCSEL vertical cavity surface emitting laser technology for transmitting the data from source to destination. Offers cost effective solutions for infra building or intra building connectivity. It exhibits low bandwidth and shorter reach than single mode SFPs. Differentiating factors for single mode and multi mode SFPs. Transmitting transmission distance. Single mode SFP suitable for long distance transmission ranging from several kilometers to tens of kilometers, as I have discussed with you the distance part in the earlier part of the video. Multi mode SFPs designed for short distance, typically within a few hundred meters to a kilometer. Bandwidth. Single mode SFPs offers higher bandwidth, making it ideal for application demanding high data rates. Multi mode SFPs exhibits low bandwidth compared to single mode, limiting its suitability for high speed data transmission. 
Cost plays an important role by selecting the fiber cables and the SFDs. Single mode SFD is generally more expensive due to the sophisticated technology required for long distance communication. Multi mode SFDs provide a cost effective solution for both short and medium range connectivity needs. Light source Single mode SFDs employ laser diodes for transmitting data, ensuring precise and efficient signal propagation. Multi mode SFDs utilizes LED and BSLC, as already communicated in this earlier part of the video. How to identify SFDs by looking at them physically? Single mode SFDs, the base color comes in red, yellow, blue in color. Whereas in multi mode SFDs, it comes in black color, bell cap. This is the normal S connectivity from switch to switch using OS2 single mode fiber. This is the aqua color, so that means it's a multi mode. YM3 and YM4 multi mode cables. So, this was the short video regarding optical cables. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or, you want any more depth information about SFDs and the connectors, please comment below. I will try to make a detailed video regarding SFDs and the connectors used in fiber cables. If you like the video, so please like and subscribe. And let me know if I need to improve my I need to improve the presentation or you need some more information or knowledge please let me know thank you for watching